Well, it is show time, uh, showdown time. And now let's cross to Adelaide, where Port Young Gun Ollie Wines is standing by. Ollie, Hamish Hartlett is in doubt. We understand he needs to pass a fitness test. How crucial is it to have him available for this big clash? Oh, obviously really important. Um, he's our vice captain and one of the most important players on our team and for him to be out there it's it's really important to our team's success and um, look he's about 50-50 at the moment and hopefully he can get up for, for Saturday because um, look coming from, from country Victoria not really knowing what a showdown means to, to this state and to our club it, it's pretty important. Ollie you're uh, you know you're, you're not from Adelaide but uh, is there actual animosity with the Adelaide players or is it just something that's almost marketing? No, nah, it is a bit, yeah. Look, they're um, our biggest rival in the town and they're who we want to beat. And um, I guess these two times for the year we get bragging rights of the city and being our away one uh, first up, there's nothing more better and more satisfying than beating the Crows at their home showdown. So, look, we've put everything into this week, uh, I guess, like a normal week and we're going out there. It's a big game and, and hopefully we can get the result. Your decision to stay at Port was a was a big one. Uh, you had offered, you know, you had the prospect of coming back to Victoria. How seriously did you look at it? Uh, no, not too seriously. Um, I've always been pretty happy in Adelaide. And look, early days for for my first couple of months in Adelaide, I struggled a little bit moving away from home. Um, I guess any kid would. Um, but. After that, I've settled in well. The club's done everything by me and, and my family well. They've taken us in with warm, open arms and um, done everything right by me. So, look, I never really had a reason to, to leave the club and uh, I've got great belief in the list and, and my mates that are playing alongside of me. So I'm happy here and looking forward to the future. Ollie, is the go-home factor a bit of a myth for you anyway? Because you're not from Melbourne and going home doesn't mean going home to Melbourne. It means going home to country Victoria. I know Jonathan Brown always said during his career it wasn't a matter of coming home because for him home was warnable. Do you feel a, a similar thing? Yeah, definitely. I couldn't agree with him more. Um, look, I think the, the go-home factor in footy is a, a myth in general. I think um, you should be comfortable where you are. The club's given you the opportunity to play AFL at the highest level and, um, and unless you're really unhappy with the people around you and, and I guess the coaches that you've got coaching you, uh, yeah, you've probably got an excuse. But in my circumstance, I'm perfectly happy here. I've made some lifelong friends and lifelong friends with the coaches and um, loving living, living in Adelaide. Ollie, the forwards set up with Charlie Dixon as a focal point. Worked pretty well against the Saints. He kicked 3-3. Three, three. How significant is his role within the side? Oh, he's, he's a big part of it. Um, we've never really had that really big, tall, power forward down there. So it's going to take a lot of weight off Jay Schultz, um, Chad Wingard, Robbie when he goes there, their shoulders. Um, a good thing about Dicko, he doesn't get out marked. So if he's not marking the ball, he's bringing it to the ground. And obviously those names I just rattled off there, Wingard, Gray, um, they mop up at ground level. So he's been enormous for us this year. He won't just kick goals, but he'll be able to um, stop the opposition from intercepting, bring the ball to the ground, and that'll give our small forwards a big opportunity at ground level. Ollie, you entered the season last year as a flag favourite. You missed the finals. What, what, what went wrong? I mean, there's been theories about... Your fitness edge went. There's been theories about that the players lacked hunger, that you got worked out tactically. What what do you think happened? Oh, I think we put it down to not playing traditional Port Adelaide football. Um, our club's been built around playing hard, tough footy where we don't play flashy or uh, real out there footy. We we win the ground ball at ground level and we work hard. So I think towards the the middle half of the season we went away from that, wanting that to work hard and wanting to the grind and um, it's only towards the last month and the last probably five games that we realised what was missing and um, we really went to work at those things and I think we won the last five games so we've had a big focus of them over pre-season and um, on our round one match against St Kilda which we ground out in the end and um, hopefully we can fulfil that and go long and deep into the finals this year. Do you think you've regained that fitness edge? You overran St Kilda? Do you think you've got that edge in running back? Oh, I think we always had it. Um, last year, look, our pre-season was strong as ever and I think we always had it, but um, it's one thing to have it, it's one thing to use it. I think you've got to, you've got to embrace being in an uncomfortable and um, 
bad position physically during a match to, to push yourself over the opposition. Everyone out there is fit and um, to get our edge I think we have to push ourselves to a new level and I, we probably weren't doing that last year and look I guess every club says they have a good pre-season and we've had another one this year and um, I think we've learnt to, to push ourselves hard again and push ourselves to the limit so hopefully we can get there and um, yeah hopefully we can uh, run out games in the fourth quarter. Ollie, how much contact do you and the other boys have with Angus Monfries and Paddy Ryder now they're serving those bands? Oh, look, we, uh, we're allowed to have a bit of a personal life with them. Um, we're allowed to go out for dinner and see the boys outside the football club. Obviously, they're, they're, whilst not being on our list this year and not being able to play football, um, they're always our friends and we love getting around them. Obviously, they're in a pretty difficult situation not being at the football club for a year and um, we're doing everything we can to, to keep them mentally refreshed while they're training and um, doing everything outside the football club. So, yeah, we catch up with them regularly and um, just make them feel like they're a part of it. Ollie, great to chat to you. Good luck for the weekend. It is going to be a huge match. Thanks, Sarah.